This video is what happens when a few like you guys get together, drink too much coffee, and start talking about strange stuff, basically. Now, the Leica Q2, your Q2, is out, and that's 47 megapixels, and basically it's the same sensor that's in this, which is the S1R. Now, we got to talking, what would happen if the next M10, which I presume would be an M11, if you think it'd have a better name than that, leave it down below in the descriptions, but what would happen if Leica put a 47 megapixel sensor in an M camera? Would M lenses handle 47 megapixels, like the Voidlanders, um, the Leica lenses obviously, and Zeiss lenses and so on? Would they actually handle that 47 megapixels? Would you get the resolution you need? So what I thought I'd do, I'd do a test. I have an S1R, and I have a Leica M to T adapter, which is actually a Leica M to L mount adapter, but it's called a Leica M to T adapter, genuine one on here. And this is a 50 mil 1.1 Voidlander. This is a 35 1.2 Voidlander. This is a 35 1.7 Voidlander. And you've also got a 28 Sumicron, the new version, and you've got a 28 Sumeron. So what I've done, I've taken a series of photos from the widest aperture right up to F11. Now obviously the 5.6 goes from 5.6 to F11, that's it. The Sumicron goes f2, 5.6, f11, and the other lenses like the f1.1 is at 1.1, f2, 5.6, and f11. Now I've not corrected them in any way, they're down below in a folder. You can download the photos and look at them yourself and see what you think. Now I had to get a model for this, and sadly my budget is quite small, so all I could afford was Mr. Potato Head. Mr. Potato Head is quite good. Cheap doesn't talk back and does as he's told basically, don't move around, great model. Now what I want you to look at is actually the skin texture of Mr. Potato Head, or the potato skin, I guess you can call it. I focused on the ears and as the depth field has changed, you'll see more and more coming to focus. And it's about looking at the background rendering as well, see what the lenses do. Now you'll actually find a difference. I'm not gonna say which I prefer and which lenses I think can handle the 47 megapixels. I'll leave that up to you guys. This is just a bit of fun, really. Now, Mr. Potato Head has been shot of all the lenses. Um, the Sumeron and the 50mm 1.1 were shot at one meter away because that's the closest focusing distance of both those lenses. The Sumicron and the 235s were shot at 0.7 or 70 centimeters because on the Sumicron and one of the 35s that's the closest focusing distance and the other one's about half a meter, but I thought I'd do them at 70 centimeters. Like I said, this is just a bit of fun and see if the lenses can handle that 47 megapixel sensor. Um, mm. Let you guys decide. Like I said, it's just a bit of fun. Now, in this video, I'm gonna cover something else. This is my Leica M10P I upgraded from an M10. Now, why did I upgrade from an M10 to an M10P? I don't know, I'll put it in the video. Now I'm gonna do a long-term review on this camera. Um, I haven't done that yet because I've been holding off because I want to use the camera more and get used to it. Because it's a little bit different to my other camera, especially my M240. Um, my favorite camera was my M246 or 247. Anyway, the monochrome, the 240 monochrome. Best camera ever, just the body was too chunky. When they make a monochrome version of the N10, I'll be there. I'll be sleeping outside days before at the Leica store. Hang on, we don't have a Leica store in New Zealand. Where's the closest Leica store to New Zealand? Let me know. I'll be camping there when the monochrome comes out. So what I'm gonna do is do a long-term review on my Leica M10P um, and give you my thoughts, my genuine thoughts. This is my camera, this is not loaned to me, so I'm gonna give you my genuine thoughts, whether it's worth it, what I think of the camera, user experience, and so on. So remember to subscribe and hit that little bell icon. That will be coming soon, I promise you. I know I've been putting it off for a while, but I wanted to do a long-term review on it. And there'll also be sample photos in there, and maybe talk about a couple of my favorite lenses too. But as always, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in my next one.